hello friends welcome to another episode of my life experiences nyanewa sosola wezi here your usual host for those of you who've been keeping track with my podcast in earlier episode i have i had shared with you about my relationship experiences the decisions that i had made for myself on how to navigate the boy girl relationships and what have you i also shared in another episode on the my family the decisions that i had made on how to raise children in this day and age and i also shared on the decisions that i had made on how i may go be a good wife to my husband yes guys so today i just want to share on my fertility experience when i got married what happened with my fertility so once we got married with my husband at that point i was still pursuing my education i had not yet qualified as a chartered accountant so we sat down and we said okay because you are still pursuing your education let us hold back first on the children's department and we should just concentrate on your education until you qualify because i think i was still remaining with the one level to go at that point so with that decision having been made I went to the pharmacy and I bought some contraception pills to help us in delaying the pregnancy. So I took the contraceptive pills for a few months, but later on I noticed that I was having some negative effects. They were giving me negative effects on my body. Like for example, I was just having excessive night sweats at night i could actually maybe drench my bed sheets beddings just because of the excessive night sweats um because of the contraception pills and also another side effects that i was having was that my legs were swelling uh, to the point that i couldn't wear my usual shoes i was just wearing at that time the slippers going to or slip ons going to work so due to that time i made a decision or we made a decision that i should discontinue the usage of those contraceptive pills and we said okay since we are new uh, words let's just uh, go ahead and face this thing whatever happens happens i stopped using the contraception i did not start on any other so we are just staying without any contraception we are ready that whatever happens happens but Nevertheless, at that time, I was still pursuing my education. So after some time of not using any contraceptions at all, I still pregnancy did not come. I did not get pregnant. And uh, we we're just wondering that, oh, what's going on? We're not using any contraception, but we're not getting pregnant. But anyways, after all, we decided to delay. It's not an issue. Let's first of all finish with the education. But now, this other time, I had gone to the village to visit the people. And while there, somebody made a comment to me saying that, So basically, what that means is that your marriage is going to fail because pregnancy has delayed. As you know that usually in our tradition, once you get married, People expect that you should get pregnant immediately. So my, my pregnancy had delayed for months at that time and people were getting worried at all. So the marriage is going to fail because pregnancy is not coming. Those comments, those words, I, I did not respond to that. But as a young married person, as a newly married person, those words had pierced into me and they were so painful to me when I heard it. But I just decided to leave it in the hands of God. You know, sometimes people, when we are making comments on people who are, who are just gotten married, let's just be mindful on how painful our words can be sometimes. So those words really pained me. They pained my soul. I don't know if at that point I had shared with, with my husband, but... It just put a due pressure on me that I was saying that, okay, what is happening? I'm not getting pregnant, even though I'm not using any contraception. What is happening? What is happening? So there was so much pressure on me. However, I was just finding escape 
in the fact that I was still pursuing my education. Later on in the year 2007, August of 2007, praise the Lord, I graduated as a chartered accountant. Behind me, you can see that is a graduation picture of me as a chartered accountant in the year 2007, August. But also, in November 2007, I had my first child. So as you can see, I had my, my double blessing. In 2007, at the time I was graduating, I was also pregnant. So despite the negative comments that I got, despite the pressure that I had that I'm not getting pregnant and what have you, but still God had come to me, has, had visited me, and also he gave me this double blessing that I graduated as a chartered accountant. At the same time, I was heavily pregnant with my, my first child. So what do I want to say to people? To reiterate what I, was, I, had, I have already said, that we should mind the words that we say to people who have just gotten married, especially on issues of having children. Because usually people ask about that, why, are you, why aren't you having a child? Why aren't you having a child? And so on and so forth. It's so painful asking somebody that kind of a question. And I learned it when somebody made a comment to me that my marriage is going to fail. So I just take it upon me not to ask anybody about that unless they are open enough to share with me themselves and they want me to give them advice on how to go about it. So just be mindful with the words that you say to people. And the other thing that I want to share with the People, in whatever experience that you are going through, don't mind the negative comment that people say on you because we don't believe the comments, the words, the pronouncements that people say. What we believe in is the pronouncements that God has made upon our lives. What does the word of God say upon their lives? The word of God says that you are healed. The word of God says that you are loved. The word of God says that you are blessed. The word of God says that you are more than a conqueror. The word of God says that you have hope. The word of God gives us so much encouragement in our daily life. So whenever we are staying, we should not be focusing on the negative comments that come from people, but we should be finding hope and comfort in the word of God. Just as had happened to me, even though it was so painful, but I just left it in the hands of God that I'm not pregnant yet. Whatever happens, happens. But later on, God ended up giving me a double blessing. So people's experiences are different. People's experiences are different. And for me, guys, just to say honestly here, if it had not yet been for this book, if it had not been for this revealed word of God upon my life, I think maybe I would have buried my head in the sand. Maybe something would have happened. But this word gives strength. This word gives hope. This word gives courage. That in whatever situations that we are going through, this revealed word of God is the one that takes us through. So child of God, what are you going through? Are you struggling with your fertility? Are you struggling with words, painful words from people? Are you struggling with the anxiety or depression? Or you are just waiting for a blessing from God that you feel that is not coming? I faced that once with my fertility to the point that I was just saying, what? why did I use contraception at all? Why did I use contraception? I started really creating on why I had used contraception. But later on, God had visited me with a double blessing. So this is just an encouragement to somebody who may be going through tough times at this point. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, child of God. May God encourage you. May God sustain you during this time. God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also to like and share. Thank you so much. Stay blessed. Oh, do be, do be.